thinking of making your own game? Think twice. This AI just killed video game developers. It generates the game in real time and gives you full control. Let's dive into details. What if the next blockbuster video game didn't come from humans at all? No coders, no artists, no designers, just artificial intelligence conjuring entire worlds from thin air. Are we looking at the future of gaming or the end of game developers as we know them? Three new AI systems from Google, Tencent, and Skywork are forcing us to ask a question we never thought we'd face. Will we still create games or will AI do it for us? Let's start with Genie 3, the latest breakthrough from Google DeepMind. Imagine typing a single sentence, like taking part in a show horse event, real world, and instantly stepping into a living, breathing 3D world. Not just a picture, not just a video, but a full environment you can walk through, explore, and even change on the fly. Unlike traditional game engines, Genie 3 doesn't rely on hand-coded rules. It learned the laws of physics directly from massive amounts of video data, water flows, light bends, objects collide, because the model understands how the real world works. The result is smooth, stable, interactive worlds running at 720p and 24 frames per second, lasting several minutes at a time. Sure, its memory is limited and it isn't public yet, but make no mistake, this is more than a tech demo. It's a glimpse at a future where entire game levels can be generated instantly. No art pipeline, no coding backlog, just imagination turned into reality. Meanwhile, over in China, Tencent has unleashed something just as jaw-dropping, Hun Yuan Gamecraft. Take a single image, yes, one picture, and watch it transform into a fully explorable game scene. Suddenly, you can move the camera, walk around, even control the action, just like in Cyberpunk or Assassin's Creed. How does it work? Training, massive training. Over one million gameplay clips from more than 100 AAA titles went into this system. The result is fluid control, stunning visuals, and long-term consistency that feels almost handcrafted. And here's the wild part, it's open source. Anyone with a decent GPU, even something like an RTX 4090, can download the code and try it right now. Think about that, one screenshot and suddenly you're inside a world that feels alive. For indie developers, this is a dream come true. For big studios, maybe it's a warning sign. And then there's Matrix Game 2.0 from Skywork AI. This one takes things a step further. Unlike simple video generation, this system reacts to you instantly. You press a key and the scene responds in real time. Jump, run, move the camera. It all feels fluid, stable, and continuous. Matrix Game 2.0 was trained on over 1,200 hours of gameplay footage from Unreal Engine and GTA 5. Its secret weapon is something called the Action Injection Module, which ties every generated frame directly to your inputs. The result is games that don't just look alive, they feel alive. And just like Tencent's system, it's fully open source. Released in August 2025, the code and model weights are already online. For the first time, anyone can build long, real-time, AI-powered interactive worlds. No studio required. So is this the end of video game developers? Not exactly. These systems are powerful, but they're not storytellers. They don't craft emotional journeys, unforgettable characters, or meaningful choices. At least not yet. What they do offer is speed, accessibility, the power for anyone, even without coding skills, to create worlds in minutes. For developers, these tools could mean faster prototyping, easier world building, and more freedom to focus on creativity instead of technical grind. But the truth is, a shift has already begun. The future of gaming may not be built by armies of developers, but by anyone with an idea and access to these AIs. So when the next big game launches, will you even be able to tell if it was built by humans or dreamed into existence by a machine? The revolution started. The controller's in your hands, but for how long? That next game might be made by an AI that never sleeps. Bye, guys. <laughs>